Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Today we're taking a dive into uh, a really interesting story from NASA. It's about the NEOWISE telescope. Ah, uh, yes, NEOWISE. Yeah. Though it didn't start out as NEOWISE, did it? No, exactly. It launched way back uh, December 2009, I think. That's right. And it was called WISE back then, Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. And its original job was, well, pretty ambitious to scan the entire sky in infrared. Yeah, with like unprecedented sensitivity over seven months, giving us this incredible map. Which it absolutely did. But then things changed a bit. They did. It got a new lease on life, didn't it? Repurposed. Mm -hmm. And renamed NEOWISE. That's N-E-O, Near Earth Object. Right. So its mission shifted to planetary defense. Exactly. Tracking asteroids, comets, basically things that might get a little too close to Earth for comfort. And it did that for, what, a whole decade? Yeah, about 10 years. A really vital job, keeping an eye out. But um, that mission has now come to an end after nearly 15 years in total. It has. NASA sent the final command, turned off its transmitter. Why now, though? Was it just getting old? Well, partly it's the orbit. It uh, started dropping too low. Okay. But there's another factor, too. Something going on with the sun. Oh, solar activity. Yeah, there's been an uptick. Mm. And that actually affects satellites like NEOWISE. How does that work then? The sun affecting its orbit. Well, increased solar activity heats up Earth's upper atmosphere, makes it expand, you know. Oh, okay. And that thicker atmosphere creates more drag on the satellite. So it pulls it down faster. Pulls it down faster, exactly. exactly. Makes it harder to keep a stable orbit for doing science. Gotcha. So it's kind of a combination of factors leading to the end. Pretty much, but what a run it had. Absolutely. NASA officials are calling it an extraordinary success story. And you can see why. From mapping the infrared universe to guarding the planet. It really boosted our understanding of potentially hazardous objects out there. Definitely. <laughs> and, you know, the data it gathered, the techniques, yeah, they've paved the way for what comes next. Laid the groundwork, as NASA put it. Precisely. For the next generation of planetary defense telescopes, its legacy lives on. And what about the telescope itself? What's the final step? Well, the final act is uh, pretty dramatic. Okay. It's expected eventually to fall back into Earth's atmosphere. And burn up. Burn up, yeah. Ugh. Turn into a fireball, sort of final visible sign-off. Wow. A fiery end for a mission that sheds so much light. A fitting end, perhaps. <laughs> Shows how dynamic space really is. Indeed. A really fascinating journey for one telescope. Well, that's all we have time for on this. Stay tuned to the Vion podcast for more such intriguing stories to come.